Tom Kozlowski here with you on 104.5 The Team and 104.5 The Team.com. And this weekend is UFC Fight Night live in Salt Lake City, Utah. May card airs live on Fox Sports 1 at 10 o'clock. And Yair Rodriguez joins us. And Yair, you are in the main event, but a lot of fight fans may know you from your time with the ultimate fighter, Latin America. What was that experience like for you? Oh, the experience was pretty good, pretty good for me. You know, uh, it, it was a great experience that I never going to have the opportunity to, to, to feel again. So, you know, I feel blessed because of that opportunity, and, and, I, and I, just, I just hope you guys uh, like the way that I fight too. Was it tough every day waking up in a house full of fighters like yourself? I mean, I, I was used to it because uh, I used to live in, uh, in Great Jackson Academy, and I used to be with 12 guys every single day. You know, I lived with them for a year, and it was like a small, a small uh, apartment, you know. So uh, I was used to live with guys, so it wasn't hard for me. Actually, it was easier for me to be in that house, uh, living with, with more guys but more room in the house, you know. It was actually pretty easy for, for me to be in the house. Now, you won that season, season one of the Ultimate Fighter Latin America. Do you feel like winning that championship puts a little bit of pressure on you th- through the rest of your career? Uh, no, actually, no. I, I, I actually feel that the, I, I never see the, you know, any pressure on me. I always see uh, positive th- thoughts coming on my mind, you know. I think that put, put me in a better position, you know, not, not in a harder position. I think it's pretty good for me because that, that just makes me push myself harder and harder and harder every day. And, and every fight, you know, so I think it's just just amazing. UFC Fight Night takes place live this weekend in Salt Lake City, Utah. The main card airs live on Fox Sports 1 at 10 o'clock Eastern. He'll be in the main event. Yasir Rodriguez joins us. And how has training been for you so far leading up to this fight this weekend? So I was traveling a lot for this fight, you know, doing a lot of media and that kind of stuff. But, uh, but I also have my, uh, my coach with me all the time, so uh, I have the opportunity to, to train uh, every time, everywhere that I that I went, so I'm not complaining about that. You know, it's just hard because you have a lot of a lot of more media to do on that kind of stuff. But also, um, I train in Chicago most the most of the part uh, with my head coach uh, Mike Bali, my striking coach, and I also train with Mark Perry for this fight, uh, my wrestling coach. And uh, I, Coach Mike and I, uh, we've been here in Salt Lake City for for a week uh, already. So. Because it's, it's high altitude here, so I, I came here early to get used to the altitude. And now it's five weeks. We are we are three days for the fight, and my weight is good. I feel I feel great. I feel amazing, you know. Uh, and with the new rules than the UFC has for the weigh-ins, I, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be better for for all of us, you know. And I just I just feel feel great great and feel ready. You touched on those new rules that the UFC has for weigh-ins and things they can take. Why do you think, and you said this, why do you think it benefits you? Um, I, actually, I actually never have problems with my weigh-ins, you know, with my, with my weight. I'm almost one way right now. So, I, I mean, it's just, it's just better, you know, because you don't have to wait like 12 hours to, to do your weigh-ins, you know. But if you're smart enough, you can, you can leave like time until last minute to, to cut the way that you have to cut, you know. But now it's better because you just wake up, you go and step in the scale, and then you're you're free. You have all day long to recover yourself, to, to be resting and stuff, you know. So I think I think that's, that's, that's better, you know. You have more time to recover yourself, to drink more water, and be, be in a better shape for the fight. Yeah, you're Rodriguez joins us. He'll be fighting in the main event of UFC Fight Night this weekend live on Fox Sports 1. You'll be taking on Alex Casares. Bruce Leroy's fight fans may know him as. What have you noticed about him leading up to this fight? Uh, I know he's a pretty tough opponent. You know, uh, he's, he's like like kind of sloppy. You know, he, he moves pretty unorthodox. He's lefty. He has that uh, pretty good left hand. You know, he uh, he always throws that left, left hand like pretty fast, pretty well. He has... Those crazy kicks, you know, that you never know who's, what he's gonna throw. Um, but he also has some patterns, you know, that I've been look, looking up to, and I, it's what I've been training for. Uh, so I just hope the strategy that I have for this fight um, goes well Saturday night. And I hope you like you guys like the fight because this is this is all for you guys, you know, this is all for you. I hope hopefully you guys like the fight. Bruce Leroy, also known for that huge afro he sporked rocking inside the octagon. We'll see him in the main event taking on our guy right here, Yahir Rodriguez. Rodriguez, we'll get you out of here on this, man. Give us a prediction what happens this weekend at Salt Lake City, Utah, inside the octagon. 
Uh, what do you think is going to happen? I don't know, man. You never know what can what it can happens up there. I just I just hope to do well up there. You know, I just I just hope you guys like the fight, and let's see how it goes. You know, you never know what can happen there. So I, I that's why I don't like to talk too much about who's going to win or who's going to who's going to lose. You know, I just I just hope to win. I'm going to do my best to win this fight. I just hope uh, God bless both of us up there and, and nobody get hurt. So it's just what I hope. The USC Fight Night this Saturday night. Yair Rodriguez in the main event on Fox Sports 1, 10 o'clock Eastern. Yair, best of luck this weekend inside the Octagon. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Take care, guys.